Hey there this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. In this Blender tutorial series we are going to learn to create a sword. This is the part 1 of the sword creation process. And in this part we are going to learn to create the blade of the sword. So without further ado let's get started. I started to create the blade with the help of simple cube. Then you need to scale this cube along the z axis and then go to the edit mode. And then select these words and move them along the y axis and then scale them down. Then select these words and E to extrude them and move them along the y axis and scale them down. Then you need to add a bunch of loop cuts on the model. Then select this face and E to extrude it and move it along the x axis and y axis and scale it down as like this. Now first we will create the block out of the plane. So that's the first step. So that's why you need to select the faces, you need to extrude them, you need to move them, you need to scale them. And you need to create the basic block out for the model. You can use the knife tool, you can create this kind of slant cut and you can create your design and you can create that block out. Basically you need to follow one reference image or design of any sort. It can be the concept or anything. Then I have added cylinder add there. I want to create a boolean. So I have used the 12 volt cylinder. Then give the right position to it as per your design and then use the boolean operation difference. You can adjust its position later on also. So just I am moving this. I just wanted to create that curve cutout at there. So that's why I have added that cylinder. Then you can duplicate that boolean object and you can create few more this kind of cutouts. That curve cutouts. Then I use cube to create few more cutouts like this. In the simple sense you need to create the basic block out for your model. And that is the first step. Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. Then I used the knife tool and I created a simple center cut. As like this. Then you need to create the cuts from the both sides left and right then I selected this outer edge of the cube and I scale it down along the z axis I just want to create that sharper edge at there so that's why you need to scale them along the z axis and you need to scale it down so you can create that sharper edge for the blade Just try to refine the form of the model. Wherever you want a sharper edges or pointed corner, just scale it down along the z-axis. Then I created bevels at some places. So I get the curve form for these horns of the blade. Then I use the knife tool to create this kind of loop structure and that right topology for the model. At the first place you need to create outer loop structure. And then you can easily create the topology from the inner side. So I did the simple thing. I created the outer loop structure. And then I started to create that inner topology. Then just select the words and then merge them. And you can use the select the word right click connect vertex path. And just try to create that right loop structure. And I did the same thing. Never gonna look back. You're never gonna look back Cause damn I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes
just need to add the subd modifier on the model and you can increase its subd count up to 2. I have spent more than 1 hour to create and to refine that model, that blade form and its structure. That's why I'm getting this kind of results after spending 1 hour on it. So if you want more decent looking model, you have to spend some time. You can see the form I got on the blade. I have created the right topology for it and I have tried to create the good looking form for it. You can see the edge of the blade which looks really well and I try to create that sharper edge for the blade. I try to create the curved structure wherever it's possible. I have tried to maintain that pointed form and you can see the topology of the model. You have to spend a little bit of more time to refine this model. Then only you will get good results. So you can see the model of the blade at here. Then just I wanted to create one boolean at there. So that's why I have one cylinder with the eight words. And then I have given the right position to it. And then I have used the simple boolean operation difference. And easily I have created that boolean inside hole at there on the blade. And which looks really well. And then you can apply that boolean modifier and then you can create the right topology for it. That's it. And in this way you can create this kind of blade. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. So next video take care.